Welcome to Civil Guru. This tutorials are made in different languages, like Arabic, English, Hindi and Tamil, please choose your desired language from the playlist. We try to make this tutorials in a very simple manner, which can be easily understand by fresh engineers, as well as a common man. If you like this videos, please subscribe now, and also share to your friends. Thank you. Welcome back. From today onwards, we will look into road projects. We will go through the execution method of road projects one by one. If you have any suggestions or if you need any clarifications, please write into the comments. In this episode, we will see the basic informations about roads. The road projects involved with following major item of works during execution. 1. Earthwork and Subbase. 2. Waterbound macadam or what makes macadam. 3. Asphalt works. In addition to that, there are some other items, such as culverts, bridges, curbstone, and road marking etc. For execution of all this item of works, there are three important engineering works involved, which supports from the beginning, such as starting from designing of roads, to till end of the execution of project. Those are 1. Quality control, which deals with mixed design and laboratory test. 2. Quantity survey, which deals with estimation and billing during the execution of the project. And finally, very important technical support is field surveying, which plays a key role during design, as well as during the execution of the project, and also it supports the quantity surveying for the billing purpose during the execution of works. Now, let us see every item briefly. First, earthwork and subbase. Earthwork starts from the cleaning of the surface, which means removing all unwanted materials, such as grace, sludge, etc., until we get the clean surface. Or, excavate the existing ground to the required subgrade level, based on the proposed road level, as per the road design. The cleaning process normally executed by heavy equipment, such as a grader or dozer. The selection of equipment is purely based on the existing ground condition. After cleaning, and before filling starts, we must take, measure, the existing ground levels that is, reduced level, and keep in the record for future, to calculate the quantity of earth filled, for billing purpose. Then the earthwork starts, with a filling of selected soil, from the approved borrow pit. This item of works includes, the excavation, loading, and transport to the site, lighting and watering with potable water, mixing it properly and compact the surface, up to 95% of the relative density. The filling is to be done in layers, and the compacted thickness of these layers normally used to be not exceeding to 20 centimeters. The subgrade or subbase normally used to be the mixer of good soil and granular metals, or the sediment rocks that are soft rocks. The remaining all other procedures of execution, such as laying in compaction, etc., is similar to the earthwork execution. Now, let us see about waterbound macadam and wet mix macadam. Waterbound macadam is the oldest method of road construction. This layer falls in between subgrade and bituminous macadam. Normally it is laid in two layers, each layer consisting of 7.5 cm to 12.5 cm based on the design of that particular road. Which is calculated as per the traffic and types of vehicles moving on that road. Water-bound macadam is executed by spreading 25 to 70 mm aggregates on the subgrade, by manually or mechanically, and then, compact it with heavy roller. The screening material which is 1 to 10 mm crushed stone powder or gravel is, spread over the aggregates, and then, fill the voids between the aggregates by manually. The watering and compaction to be done, to the required relative density. In this type of method, most of the work is executed manually. Although the maximum care is taken during the execution, there used to be voids and segregations. Which affects the durability. Ultimately it leads to failure. This may be suitable for rural roads. Whereas in urban areas, the traffic is more and heavy, for that, this type of work is not suitable. The modern technology helped the engineers to invent the wet mix macadam. In this method, the aggregate and the screening materials is mixed through a pug mill plant before laying. 
and it is laid through mechanical pavers or graders. And it is compact by vibratory rollers. By this method of execution, the voids and segregation is eliminated, and it become more durable for long period. Now we are going to see the asphalt work in briefly. Asphalt work involves the following item of works. First is the prime coat and tack coat. Second bituminous macadam. Third dense bituminous macadam. And then fourth is wearing coarse. Let us see about prime coat and tack coat. The prime coat is the binding layer between bituminous and non-bituminous surfaces, such as wet mix macadam. Around 1 kg per square meter of cutback bitumen 70 is sprayed as prime coat. And normally, it is allowed for 24 hours to penetrate in wet mix. It is uniformly sprayed over the surface with the help of mechanical equipment. And tack coat is the binding layer between two bituminous surfaces. Around 0.5 kg per square meter of bitumen is used as tack coat. And it is uniformly sprayed over the bituminous surface just before laying the another layer with the help of mechanical sprayers. Let us see the processing of asphalt work. There are two type of asphalt plant is available. One is drum mix plant and another one is batch type plant. The batch type plant is the best one for quality product. The burning temperature of bituminous is above 180 degree. So, the bitumen is heated up to 160 to 170 degree and melted into liquid stage and kept in storage tanks. The aggregates are heated up to 150 degree and clean through blowers during heating in the drum. And it is screened and batched as per the mix design and carried to pub mill mixture. There, the required percent of bitumen is added and mixing is done for two minutes to get proper mix. Then the mix is carried to storage silo. From storage, it is loaded in trucks and transported to site. There are different types of pavers are available. One, simple mechanical paver. Two, fully automatic paver, which is controlled by sensors. Three, fully computerized paver. The laying temperature of the asphalt mix is 120 plus or minus 5 degree. The asphalt mix is laid through pavers at laying temperature, and it is compacted up to 98% of compaction through vibratory roller and pneumatic rollers. Before going deep in execution, we shall know the basic engineering and technical things. So, next episode, we will start from surveying. We will see, starting from leveling, quantity takeoff, rectification of errors in leveling instrument, and measuring the distance without using the measuring tape. If you like this video, please comment, like and share to your friends. Thank you.